Hi, this is Jasmin Valia from Team Learn Today. And in this SOP, we are going to learn how to grant access to your WordPress website without sharing your admin credentials in four easy steps. Access control is an important aspect of website security. By understanding what access control is and how to use it in WordPress, you can make your website more secure. WordPress allows you to grant access to other users so they can manage your website without sharing your admin credentials. The owner of the website, also known as the administrator or site owner, is given the highest level of access, followed by the editor, author, contributor, and subscriber. The author is an in-house writer or a freelance writer responsible for creating all the content on your website. They have access to publish and manage their own posts only. The editor can do everything an author can do. Plus, they can also publish and or manage the content of other users. A contributor is a guest writer or a contract writer who can write for the website but does not have permission to manage or publish the posts. By default, a subscriber has the least permissions of all the user roles in WordPress. So now that we have learned about the five types of user roles on WordPress, let's get into the video and check how we can grant access to our WordPress website to these user roles. The first step to granting access to our WordPress website is to log into our WordPress dashboard. So as you can see, you just have to write your domain name slash wp-admin and you will be redirected to your WordPress dashboard. Once we have landed on our WordPress dashboard, all we have to do is find an option named as users on our left sidebar. So there you go. Let's click on users once and we will land on our users page. As you can see, I am the only user as of now and I'm listed as an administrator, which means I'm the site owner of the website. So let's click on add new user from here or we can just go to the left sidebar and click on add new user as well. Once we land on our add new user page, all we have to do is fill out the username, email, first and last name of our user and we will be good to go. We can choose our user role from right here. If you want them to be a subscriber, a contributor, an author, editor or administrator, you can choose it from right here. For the purpose of this video, we are going to take editor as an example and I'm going to give it the same username as well. So this will be editor number one for my user role right here. So now that I have filled out all the details, all I have to do is click on add new user. And once I do that, as you can see, we have just added a new editor for our WordPress website. So let's click on edit and move forward for the personalized options that we can get to customize the profile of the new user that you have added. You can change the admin color scheme. Go ahead and change the first name, last name or the role of the user as well. So there you go. You have just now added a new user role for your WordPress website. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for Learn Today channel and the notification bell so that you can get updates on whenever we upload new videos. In our next video, we talk about how you can set up an ideal permalink for your WordPress website.